This conference will now be recorded. Well, hello everyone. It's good to see you on today's call. I'm Kelly Augustine. I work at the Nacogdoches County Chamber of Commerce, and this is our two time a month online conference call. We uh, started this to get updates from our local leaders. It's also been a wonderful way to highlight good things happening in our community. So we're glad to have, have everybody on board. As you heard, it is gonna be recorded so we can share this as well after um, our live taping. And uh, we have invited our media to attend too. So whether they're here with us now or view later, uh, you might get some media coverage. So today we wanted to highlight a, a fantastic event that have, has been happening in Nacogdoches. Uh, it started kind of um, Blueberry Festival weekend focused, but it's been moved and I'm really happy to hear more about that. Uh, it's led and has been led, the co-creators I guess we'll say, by Scott Waller and Angela Wiederhold. Uh, they both are great contributors to our community. They're both business owners in Nacogdoches. They service a, a wide area way outside of our, our Nacogdoches boundaries, so they're known across the state. Uh, they've been leaders in our chamber, both former chairman of our chamber board of directors. So uh, they, they know a lot, they do a lot, and I'm really happy we have you on today to talk about the Red Brick Bluegrass Festival. Angela and Scott, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks so much. Scott and I are honored to be here today and talk about our new event. We'd just like for you to take just a moment and think back to the good old days when families ate meals together and kids played in the yard and you talked to your neighbors and you went to musical concerts sat outside until the, when the sun went down and enjoyed just being outside. If you'll take a look at our photos here, that's really what the Red Brick Bluegrass Festival wants to create for you, your family and friends. It, the Red Brick Bluegrass Festival, it's a new name uh, for a new event, but it's the same and different from our Blueberry Bluegrass Concert in the Park. It's our ninth annual Bluegrass Concert and we decided to move the concert to May instead of June to kind of give us a break in the hot temps um, last year, I think at the beginning of our concert at six o'clock, it was 101 degrees. So um, we felt like moving it into May might help us a little bit on that and um, give us a, an opportunity to have another event in Nacogdoches and our beautiful hometown. Um, and um, it's all possible really for our generous presenting sponsor, Rex Perry. When our first meetings, when Scott and I first talked about having the concert, you see all these gorgeous pictures of all the kids and families that come out. It is a true, the concert is truly a cross section of our community and um, lots of time to visit with family and friends, as we said. Our first meetings, we started really wanted, wanted to bring really top notch talent and we wanted to draw a big crowd. And so to cover that cost of those great bands, we asked Rex Perry to sign up and he became our presenting sponsor in year one. We really view this weekend as a giant welcome, um, a, kind of a hug from Nacogdoches. We invite folks from all over Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana um, to come and see our beautiful historic downtown with live music in our beautiful City Park Festival Park. Uh, we start Friday night with jamming, and this is the first time we've ever kind of been able to do this, to host an event like this the night before our concert. So Friday night kicks off the festival, and it's a beautiful time to sit back and listen to dedicated musicians um, sharing their love of music with all of us. Jamming is kind of like a, a backstage pass to an instrument to an intimate bluegrass session. You hear some great old songs and some new songs that musicians are trying out. They sit in a big circle and um, it's this event is totally free as well. You can join us at Festival Park Friday night from six to nine o'clock. We'll have a food vendor there. We'll have some water and um, just an opportunity to hear some great musicians play some fabulous music. Bluegrass music is a toe-tapping, heart-lifting genre of music, and uh, it's so great to be outside in a beautiful park in historic downtown, and it just doesn't get any better than that, we think. Um, and it, Bluegrass music is really for all ages, and it's very family-friendly. And um, speaking of wonderful, well-played music and beautifully sung by talented performers, 
Uh, Scott Waller is going to talk about our fabulous talent. He goes all over the country listening to great bluegrass music all over and uh, has found some fabulous talent for us this year, as always. Thank you, Ange Thank you Angela. It's good to be with everybody. And as she said, I, I, I do travel a little bit to see uh, some of these talented performers. It's a tough job, but somebody <laughs> has to do it. Uh, and, you know, you can go far and wide and find talent, but uh, we've got some fantastic talent right here in Nacogdoches. Many of you probably know Steve and Cheryl Hartz. Uh, Steve has been the owner proprietor of uh, General Mercantile and the Old Time String Shop uh, since the mid 70s. And um, he is a very accomplished songwriter. He, uh, of course, is a luthier. That means he builds and repairs instruments. Uh, stringed instruments he's highly sought after uh, actually had uh, several songs that have been recorded from some big names uh, and published uh, but he's also kind of our local uh, music historian he's done a lot of research about what life was like um, years ago about you know 50 to 100 years ago and uh, has found some of the songs uh, from that era, and he's written some songs about that era, and he's going to be doing a presentation uh, during our concert of the um, of the research that he's uh, come up with, and it's going to be very entertaining. Yet it's going to be very informative, uh, teaching you a lot about the town that you uh, that you live in that you probably didn't know about. Uh, another group that we're excited about having for the first time is Riley Gilbreth and Lone Star Blue, and they all come from the Dallas area. And as you can tell from the pictures, this is a young group uh, for the most part. Uh, Riley just turned 20, and so um, he's got a big following of some of the young groupies there in the uh, Dallas area. Um, so we're excited about them coming. And uh, some of you may be old enough to remember 60 years ago was the beginning of what we now call the British Invasion. 60 years ago was when the Beatles performed on the Ed Sullivan Show for the very first time. And uh, so the Beatles have, have been very influential in all genres of music, bluegrass included. And this group, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Bluegrass Band, uh, plays bluegrass instruments, but they cover Beatles music. And uh, this should be a big crowd pleaser. People of all ages should enjoy this. Uh, I have heard them, and uh, their show is always a lot of fun. Um, next, we have the Purple Halls. And uh, if you've been to one of our concerts before, chances are you probably heard the Purple Halls because uh, they're always a big crowd favorite. And uh, people want them back, and we're fortunate, fortunate this year uh, to get them back. They uh, are uh, world-class talent. They do travel all over the world, uh, a lot in Europe. They uh, spent five years in Nashville uh, recording uh, sessions uh, as session musicians. They also worked for the Sony publishing arm uh, writing songs. Uh, they came back to Kilgore. Uh, their hometown to help care for their father when he was ill several years ago. Uh, they have uh, a brother, um, Ben Clark, who is one of the top online um, string instrument teachers in the country. He's He's got a really fine online um, library. If you want to learn how to play bluegrass music, you need to check out uh, Banjo Ben on the internet. So this is what our lineup is going to look like. Our show on Saturday starts at 1 o'clock. And uh, there, there's an afternoon session. The afternoon session ends uh, with a young artist showcase. And we're excited to bring, uh, let's see, from Hemp Hill, Luke Moody, who uh, is, uh, I think he's 12 years old. And he's an outstanding, uh, talented artist. And then there is... Um, Let's see, Malachi and Caleb, they come from Grapeland, two brothers. We're excited about that. And then there's also an evening session uh, with the same performers, uh, Stephen Cheryl Hartz, Riley Gilbreth, Sergeant Pepper, and uh, the Purple Hull. So that's going to, who's going to be joining us, and we hope to see you there. And Angela, I'm going to toss it back to you. 
Thank you, Scott. Yeah, it's such an exciting lineup. We're, we're just thrilled and hope lots of people will come out and listen to some fabulous music. If you'll take a minute, look at our flyer. We'd love for all of you to please just take a second and like our Facebook page and take a minute, like our event, share our event. That, that organic uh, reach really helps. It's amazing. Um, we're always honored when folks tell us that they just found us on the internet and decided to drive over and spend the night in Nacogdoches. Every year, um, people come from all over. It's really amazing and um, it's fun to, to get to meet them and talk to them. This you can park anywhere, you know, Nacogdoches. They're going to have a big event in Nacogdoches. We're super excited. It's called Sail on the Trail. And this is a huge shopping event. It starts in Natchitoches, Louisiana, and folks travel all the way across. Lots of big sales in Manny, Louisiana. And then we're just hoping to get them to come on down to Nacogdoches and top off all of their shopping with our beautiful downtown and then come and listen to some fabulous music Saturday night. As always, we've got fabulous food trucks um, with Chambers Barbecue, Dos Amigos, Eat a Bite, and then we've got some lemonade, iced tea from iced tea from HTO, and snow cones from Blue Elephant and Kona Ice. And as always, we're partnering with First Baptist Church, encouraging folks to park there for free. And then we have the SFA alumni buses to hustle folks back and forth from the concert venue back to First Baptist Church. And then we'll do one even better. We've got some fabulous golf carts that, so anybody that is mobility impaired or might think I can't walk that far, we will literally pick you up from the bus drop, drop off and take you and your chair, chairs and everything right to the concert venue. So you can enjoy some great music and not have to worry about walking a long ways. Um, we're very lucky um, and dogs are welcome. I don't know if you saw some of our pictures. We love it when people bring their, their pets to enjoy the music, uh, of course, on a leash, of course. We're very grateful for Motorhomes of Texas. They give us a beautiful, this is the scene of the park, guys. I mean, isn't that absolutely fabulous? Doesn't that just look like what you'd like to be doing next Saturday, um, enjoying some great music downtown? We're thankful to the city of Nacogdoches, Jessica Sal and her team that take over the parks and the rec department, the wonderful job they do on our parks. We wanna thank Visit Nacogdoches. Uh, Shelby and Ashley and Mike, they just do a fabulous job. They've helped us along the entire process to help food vendors and work through the whole process of, we're so lucky. Festival Park now has so much electricity and water. It's truly a first class facility to hold an event like this. And, and that's been years in the making and we're very, very lucky and very excited to have that. We have tons of volunteers that make this possible, and we'd love for any of you to please join us. We need, still need volunteers. It's so much fun to drive a golf cart and meet the people from everywhere, and you kind of have that breeze going on you the whole time, or you can sell t-shirts or welcome folks. We just, we need a few more volunteers to help us do that. Again, Sail on the Trail starts on Friday, and we'll go all the way Saturday till five o'clock close. Um, Please like and share our event. We could not do it without our, oh, okay, one more cool really thing that we're going to have is a, a musical petting zoo. Scott has worked with Encore Music, and we're going to have lots of neat bluegrass instruments. So if you've ever wondered, could I play the banjo, or, or maybe I could play the mandolin, or, you know, I don't know, and pick up a guitar, you'll have that opportunity at our concert this year. That's really one of the things we've always wanted to be able to do, and we're super excited about hey, that. Angela, Music is Angela. wonderful. Can I interject one thing about the instrument petting too? Uh, that's just for kids. It's just for kids uh, yes. of any age. Of any age, if you've ever been a kid, if you have a kid, or if you know a kid, uh, you're welcome to try your hand at picking the banjo or the mandolin or whatever that you want to play. But it's just for kids. Thank kids you. of any age. Thank you. Appreciate that point of clarification, Scott. Scott is our clarifier for sure. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, we want to thank again our our, um, our sponsor, Rex Perry. Um, we have a diamond sponsor this year, Eaton, who stepped up and helped us immensely. Our platinum sponsors, Cataract Glaucoma and Retina Consultants of East Texas, Commercial Bank of Texas, and Farhars Heating and Air Conditioning. They're going to have a really cool booth. So if you are feeling warm on uh, Saturday, May 4th, you can go come sit in their booth. They're going to try to make it uh, as comfortable outside as it is inside, as they make your home inside. So we're excited about that one. Our gold sponsor, Excel ER and Laird Funeral Home. In-kind sponsors, the Fredonia Hotel, Motorhomes of Texas, um, 
and the city of Nacogdoches and visit Nacogdoches. I don't know what we do without them. And we have some great, uh, very hardworking volunteers that many have been with us from the very beginning. Scarlett Long with Raymond James, Morgan Nash with Rex Perry Autoplex, Cindy Millard with Charles Poole Real Estate, Laquita Waller and Tammy Wheeler with SFA, and of course Shelby with Visit Nacogdoches. So um, thank you all. We hope to see you all on, on Friday night to come enjoy our, the jamming sessions, I'm telling you, it'll give you goosebumps. It's really a special thing to get to watch and listen to. And then, of course, our concert on Friday. Anybody have any questions or anything? Okay, well, please like our Facebook page. We also have a website, redbrickbluegrass.com, and our Facebook page is Bluegrass, Red Brick Bluegrass. And um, thank you. Thank you, Kelly, for the opportunity. We're excited. Oh, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm going to get to enjoy it, and I will. Let me tell you, this is going to be great. I do have a quick question for you. How can we, the residents, business owners, folks moving around Nacogdoches, uh, what can we do over this weekend? I mean, I'm curious to know what the talent thinks of our town. Do they love coming to Nacogdoches? Is there some way we could help welcome them? Other than showing up and clapping and toe tapping along, of course. They do love coming here. We um, we feed them. We try to treat them very, very well. We want them to have a very positive experience in Nacogdoches. And, and people do embrace them. I, I, I have lots of photos, but people come, they, they will have their own booths. So you have an opportunity this time, the way that Scott has the talent structured in the day, you'll have an opportunity to really go over their booth and share your love of their favorite song. They'll autograph their CDs or their thumb drives or however they're bringing their music this time. So it really it will be a great time to get to visit with the artists. It's kind of been a short window in the past because we've only had from, you know, from six to nine. So now we'll have that opportunity all day and you'll get to hear twice as much music. Some of these folks will be singing gospel and some old time music and some bluegrass. It's You'll get to hear all of the great tunes that they have and um, have that opportunity. you have anything you want to add, Scott? No, that pretty much sums it up. Thank We're you so much. Excited. Yeah. Very excited. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, please come down and um, see everyone, meet everybody, and have a great time. Will do. And we'll definitely go share that online promotion so all of our friends and and uh, folks can see all that. Thank you, guys. Thank you again. I know this is an undertaking. We appreciate all the work you do. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we may not have an official SFA report today, unless I'm missing someone, but I did have the chamber side of the university to mention. I know that they are ramping up orientation sessions, and they so generously give both the Chamber of Commerce and Visit Nacogdoches time to visit with uh, the attendees of both the virtual orientations and the in-person orientation sessions that happen throughout the summer months. So I want to thank uh, SFA for including us in that. So again, we can showcase our community as they are getting ready to start their university uh, trip here in Nacogdoches. And we are going to be involved with the Alumni Association as well for their big, let's see, it's the Big Dip beer and bite celebration for all the uh, big dipping students and their families that will happen i believe also that weekend so there will be a lot of things happening downtown that's going to be at the fredonia brewery i'm sure they'll hear that music and they'll know there's more special things happening in our town so uh, that's kind of cool how that's working out um, I'd like to mention, um, speaking of Visit Nacogdoches, I believe Ashley Morgan is away from the office, but we are happy to welcome Shelby Leo and Natalie Dunn to the call with uh, good news for us today. Hi. Um, yes, the SFA Big Dip After Party is May 3rd, the same weekend as the Red Brick Bluegrass concert and the Cell on the Trail. It's a very busy weekend. It's about to be a very busy time in NAC as summer ramps up. Um, the sale on the trail is Friday and Saturday. There's shops between Texas to Louisiana, and we love doing the sale on the trail with the El Camino Real. Um, if you have a business, if you want to sign up, Natalie will comment the link in the chat and you can sign up anybody can sign up you don't have to be on main street we just want to fill up Nacogdoches where people can come and shop and then stay for the concert later that afternoon um that's really all i have to report thank 
you. Did uh, Natalie want to give a wave? <laughs> well, we're glad to have you. I'm sure uh, Ashley and the board of directors for the Convention and Visitors Bureau are glad to have a full team in force, especially as we're approaching our Texas Blueberry Festival. So thank you both for your help with uh, that event as well. Of course, we're happy to help. Okay, um, I see we have our Small Business Development Center representative uh, joining us today, Cassandra Stokes. I didn't check in with Cassandra before the call, but if she has um, information she'd like to give, including her involvement with the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Cassandra, you are on. Hi, and thanks, Kelly. Um, so, well, um, I can give you just a, a little bit of an update on, uh, on grants. Grants are something that a lot of our clients are always, always interested in and looking for. Um, they're you know, somewhat hard to come by. And uh, so we're, we're constantly looking for grants for, for our small business clients, um, for their startups, expansions, and, and things like that. Um, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce uh, puts out grant opportunities quite often, so I'm always looking through them. And uh, they have a couple of them that have come up recently that our clients are uh, pretty interested in. One of them was the Black Ambition Prize. It's a grant competition for Black and Hispanic innovators. And, um, and it's open to uh, early stage ventures, which is very attractive uh, to many of our clients. Um, it offers awards ranging from uh, $15,000 to a million dollars. And uh, if you know of anyone who's interested, the applications are open until May 6th. Uh, there's also another one that I, I actually have two clients that are under the age of 18, and uh, they have applied for this one. It's the Merchant Maverick, hang on, Merchant? Maverick Opportunity Grant for Kid Entrepreneurs. It supports young visionaries and, it, and they provide multiple $2,000 grants um, to, to fuel business ideas and empower uh, young kids to pursue their dreams. This grant initiative is it's open for, for people aged 10 to 18 and those applications uh, are open the applications for that are open till may the end of may may 31st so if you know any young kids um uh, that would be a good one for them to to apply for uh, as far as upcoming business development sessions uh, we have one on tuesday april the 30th at 6 p.m correct me if i'm wrong it's in the conference room at the parks and recreation uh, building on North Street. Our topic this time is financial fitness, and our presenters are from, uh, they're experts from Communities Unlimited. They are going to cover practical ways to uh, improve cash flow, how to prepare for and access funding um, for a business, and so much more. The registration is still open, and so you can go on the Chamber's website and, and register there. It's very easy, and it's free. Um, looking ahead into May, uh, NEDCO is putting on their second annual Small Business Resource Fair for people who may be new to business ownership, looking into starting a future business, or even just curious about our community's business resources. The event's open to the public, and it's going to be held again at the Fredonia on Thursday, May the 16th. We're gonna, this year we're adding a panel discussion which starts at five. And um, I'm so happy to, to say that the owner, one of the speakers is the owner of HDO, Sarah Carthel, who just so happens to be uh, a small business development client of mine. So I'm super excited that she's gonna be a part of that. She's super successful, as you guys know. Um, Will SBDC will have a table there uh, this year again, and uh, we would love for you to come by and see us. So that's my update. Thanks. 
Thank you, Cassandra. Uh, that's great news about available monies out there for our entrepreneurs. Thank you for sharing that information too, as well as the local activities you're involved with. Uh, no questions for Cassandra. We'll move on to our president and CEO of the Nacogdoches Area United Way, Ms. Caroline Garner. I thank you, President and CEO of Chamber of Commerce, Kelly Augustine. <laughs> and outstanding United Way board member. So uh, it's just a slightly busy week for us at United Way because we have uh, Do That Barbecue coming up this Saturday. Yes, this Saturday. So um, start the fasting now because there's going to be so much in the way of do, uh, barbecue samples for you. We have the most teams we've ever had. We, we have 40 teams to be judged. That's our limit, but uh, 43 teams are signed up. And so that's that's a lot of barbecue sampling that you're going to be responsible for doing when you go out there. Um, so, so yeah, come hungry. Of course, RNK will be providing uh, refreshments, um, the free free beer up to three per guest, uh, of course, of age. There will be other refreshments available as well. We, you can get water for free. Then we have a lot of vendors. We've got I, I, we had three more come in today, as a matter of fact. So, uh, yeah, it's a great variety. There are crafts and and sweets and uh, just all sorts of interesting things to look at uh, out there. There will be a family area sponsored by McWilliams and Son. Pilgrims is our overall sponsor. We do that. We've got a lot of other great sponsors, a selfie station. Um, anyway, you can check out our social media for more information. But that is this Saturday out at the Expo Center. Um, and something for everybody in the way of entertainment. Oh, yeah, and live music also. Um, so, uh, sorry about that. You can look at our Facebook page for, for Do That Barbecue and, and find out more information. Uh, then also, that's this Saturday, and then that's 27th. And then on the 30th, we are launching our first Give Five. Um, yes, as Scott pointed out, we are asking Gary Lee Ashcraft to please eat barbecue responsibly. <laughs> So anybody who sees them out there, please help help with that uh, effort. Thank you, Scott. Um, <clears throat> uh, we are launching a Give Five volunteer matchmaking program. Woo! It's matchmaking um, for retirees, and I have our Carrie sponsored intern who has been um, critical in getting this thing organized and launched on the call, Kayla. But I'm not sure if she's available to talk right now. Just I'm here. I just am having tech issues, so my camera will not turn on, but I am here. Okay, good. Well, would you please uh, take the Give Five Ball and run it with it, Miss Kayla? Yes, I just checked um, our volunteer signups, and we had one additional sign up today, so we are at 12. Our goal was 20, so we're a little over halfway there. We're going to leave signups open until Friday. Um, we have 19 organizations that are confirmed and we will take them over three day period. And we are super excited um, to be able to just contribute um, people who don't really know what they're doing in retirement or they may be lonely because they no longer have friends. Um, I've said this before, but I will say this every single time. Um, isolation is the number one health concerns for um, seniors, according to the U.S. General Surgeon. And it's equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So if you imagine our 11, our 11 retirees smoking 15 cigarettes a day, quote unquote, um, that's a big deal to their health. Um, they're potentially getting older in their age and they, their health may be on the verge of declining. And so we just want to have them a meaningful way to give back um, and to feel good about what they're doing and sitting at home, making new friends, um, one that signed up today, he is a, a widow and he says he doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life now. And so he reached out to us. He'd heard through um, the newspaper about what Give Five was doing. And um, he is super excited to be able to join. And I've been talking with him as well as our other volunteers. And they are very excited for this program to come to Nacogdoches. Thank you, Kayla. Uh, this program is set to launch, uh, like we were saying, Tuesday. It's a, it's a three-week program. Three con it's not going to class every day for three weeks. The participants get to come for three consecutive Tuesdays, basically 8.30 till 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. We provide lunch. We have some get-to-know-you activities at first and, and sessions, and but then we go out on 
we're saying field trip on on a bus or a van to go visit these different nonprofits. So it'll be a really nice time of bonding, socializing, learning about volunteering and the opportunities in Nacogdoches to do so all free of charge. Uh, so obviously everybody on this call is too young, right? Um, there is no age limit, but it is targeting retirees. Tell your neighbors and friends, your parents, people you know at church, anybody you think, you know, could use an activity like this to improve their life and uh, that of um, help helping out in our community also. So that it, we, cause we are, it starts a, a week from yesterday for April 30th is our first class. So, so can you spread the word about give five um, and they can give us a call or look on our website at unitedwaynac.org and find an easy way to register online or just call us and we'll help walk them through that and plan to come do that barbecue on Saturday. See you guys there. Yes, you will, Caroline. <laughs> I know, I'll see you there, Kelly, in the in the kitchen. <laughs> and I've heard, one of our volunteers. Uh, I've heard such good things, uh, you know, the sellout on cook teams, the continued interested vendors. I think you, United Way, has rebuilt a uh, do that barbecue and we are really enjoying it. So thank you for that. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, well, moving on, speaking of uh, the Expo Center, that would be the Nacogdoches County Exposition and Civic Center, we have the executive director with us, Anita Scott. Yes, ma'am, good morning, everybody. Thank y'all for having me. Um, yeah, we're really busy out here at the Expo Center. Um, we just got finished with the Evans United Spring Car uh, Carnival this past weekend, uh, Sunday. And so, like Carolyn said, uh, next weekend, it's going to be the Dudat Barbecue. So we are getting ready for that. And then, yay. Um, and then following that, the next weekend is the uh, the Red, Red Dirt Mud Run, benefiting the Nacogdoches JCs. So it sounds like we've got Red Dirt uh, Bluegrass and Red Dirt Mud Run. So we hope that the people that are coming um, to Red Dirt Mud Run, which happens during the early day, uh, will then stay over and uh, go out and enjoy that uh, red, red brick uh, bluegrass. I can tell you from a personal experience, um, back in the day, um, my family helped build a um, bluegrass uh, festival park that was out there on um, um, uh, what was the so county road out uh, east of Nacogdoches. Somebody help me. Y'all probably remember that. But anyway, um, it uh, was a big, it didn't last very long, but I'm telling you, uh, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, those were fond memories. That music out uh, is just, it just gets in your soul and uh, very, very much family oriented type music and um, I definitely enjoyed it and so um, looking forward to that event happening um, and then our, tonight we have the Cushion ISD Awards Banquet happening here at the Expo Center in the big room and then um, let me see here I'm all over the place um, on May the 11th is the Keep Nacogdoches Beautiful Tire Recycle that's going to be happening here in the um, parking lot and the drop off is going to be from 9 a.m. till noon. And so that's what we have happening. Some of the things we have happening here at the Expo Center. We have some other uh, small events going on as well, but those are the big community events that we have. So that's all I have. Um, Kelly, thank you all again for allowing me to be here. And uh, if you want more information about the events, you can go to our website at nacexpo.net. We have a link uh, of our calendar and we try to put all of the details of the events happening as well. So that's what I have. Oh, I, and you know, I'm excited to um, help to um, to promote the concert happening on May the 3rd and 4th. So if, um, you'll send me that information. I'll be glad to put that on our um, on our marquee and do things to help uh, anything we can do here to help those events. Let me know. We'll be glad to share it as well. That's all I have. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. Any questions about the Expo Center? I love that you brought up the smaller events that you host as well. I mean, that could be um, anniversary, showers, parties, get togethers, meetings, you know, yes. professional, personal, whatever it might be, you can, you can That's work. That's exactly right. You know, um, we have some small rooms. In fact, I have some, uh, uh, an attorney that every now and then will rent um, 
the small meeting room just to have an off-site off, off um, place for them to have depositions and things like that. Um, so we're definitely here for you if you need a, a meeting space, large or small, we can handle it all, <laughs> for sure. Thank you, Anita. Okay, well, I think we're going to move along to Gary Lee Ashcraft with Sawmill Six Man Report. Here I am. There are uh, things going on in this small office of nobody. Uh, my dog has gone crazy. My horn keeps going off in the car. All right, uh, the big news for us, we're, we're raising money for uh, uh, mightily for recruiting purposes right now. Uh, the coach and his team, Kyle Keller, have landed a guy from uh, uh, the University of Texas. We've reached out to him. I don't know what he might have been paid. Uh, his name is Chris Johnson. He's a 6'5", Texas, University of Texas guard that's very successful, very fast and agile and all that stuff. So uh, I, we're building fans, too. So when we get started in September, be sure to get you some season tickets and come out to the games. I think this year will be very, very special. So that's what I've got for Sawmill 6. Isn't it nice that it's short and easy? Axum Jax, thank you very much, Kelly, for having me on. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for what you do for the chamber, Gary Lee. We appreciate you. <laughs> and I'm going to touch on our chamber events. I'll also invite uh, my colleague, Sherry Williams, Melissa Wheeler, and Missy Manning. I believe Sharon Hurst is on the call, too. In case I miss anything, please, uh, when I finish, you can jump in as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and talk about Sharon's area first though. Those Texas Blueberry Festival vendor apps have been rolling in. We do have a deadline of May 6th for those. Uh, so please, if you're interested in being a vendor or you know someone who is, get your applications in now. Uh, that'll be the best way to handle that. Uh, now back to the fun events that we have planned with our members for the community there is a long list of ribbon cutting celebrations starting today. We'll be at Holistic Planning. It's a financial services uh, firm that we have here in Nacogdoches. That's at 4.30 today at their location. We also have a ribbon cutting this week on Thursday at Old Town Athletics at 4.30. And then wrapping up the month, we'll be with Speaker Orthodontics on April 30th for another afternoon ribbon cutting. So those I'm looking at on our Nacogdoches.org online calendar, easy to access. Uh, also happening tomorrow is a chamber orientation. We call it chamber liftoff. It will help anyone who's looking for better ways to utilize the chamber services and opportunities for their business. Please think about coming to that or sending someone from your business if you would like them to know more about our organization. It's free of charge and held here at the chamber. We have a uh, Kicking off Thursday early is our Eggs and Issues meeting with Mark Durand, Workforce Solutions, Deep East Texas. He will be talking about the teacher externship program that they offer and how it can help build our workforce. We also have the April Live After Five on that Thursday. So starting around 5.30, we'll be congregating at Ted Smith State Farm Insurance Office on North Street Please join us, and if you're a Nacogdoches, uh, leadership Nacogdoches alumni, definitely come so you can meet up with your buds and fellow alumni cohorts. Uh, the co-chairs of that program will be there. Aaron Wyndham and Charles Amonic will be uh, starting that program, getting active again. And uh, let's see. Next Tuesday, I believe Cassandra mentioned that financial fitness business development series that will be happening that evening at the Rec Center. Another great resource for small business owners that our chamber offers. Well, Sherry, Melissa, Sharon, and Missy, did I miss anything at the moment? <laughs> we will have more, so check our calendar 
often, please. I want to thank again our special guests today and everyone that was here sharing the good things happening in your departments, in your areas around town. We really appreciate you being a part of this in our Chamber of Commerce. I wish you a happy and prosperous week ahead. Thank you.